All right, welcome back to another reef tank update. Just moved my 55 gallon tank last night, cleared up by the morning, pretty gross, a little fishy. And so this is gonna be the basic setup for the next month probably. Just got two uh, power heads. They're probably gonna move once the other one's up and running. And then it's gotta hang on the back uh, filter. It's not running any carbon, it's just, um, it's just running this little filter pad stuff, foam. Yep, just basic setup of a saltwater tank. Nothing special. Got my uh, snail right here. Got coral there. Uh, hopefully, the next month I'll be able to move them, and that way, nothing will happen to them. And I, I don't think anything will. Another snail up here. And then there's my little shrimp back there. And then my wrasse. Oh, he's up over by the heater over here. Yep, and then uh, what we did, how I moved it, is um, emptied all the water and all these containers. This container is about uh, 25 gallons, maybe not, but it seemed like that. It got the tank about halfway down, and then um, got four five-gallon buckets. Just emptied the water in those. Me and two of my friends picked it up and moved it over in this wall from uh, this wall right here. Got to clean off the wall right here where the protein skimmer was kind of bubbling out. And then just got to vacuum up the floor, all the salt creep and everything on the floor um, before I move. Here's everything I have right here. Uh, the 125 with everything I need. The 125 pounds of uh, sand. And right here we have uh, half of the rock that was in my tank. I took out the other half prior to uh, moving my tank just to make it easier. Um, it's all right here, ready to be rinsed out with hot water. Um, I'd be careful doing that because um, there's a thing people do when they boil rock. They have um, some type of uh, organism in it that will give off a toxic gas um, as a defense mechanism. So probably wouldn't recommend rinsing them off unless you know exactly where your rock has been and know exactly what's in your tank. Um, cause there are some coral that will, uh, be living in them and you do that in the release of gas. So best way is to do cold water, rinse them out cold water. Um, I'll be doing this here a little bit, just get the, all the stuff out of them and you set them out to dry for a couple weeks. Um, I have some drying already. I'll go show you. So here's all the other rock. It's all completely dry. It's starting to get bleached. Um, there's not much left to it. And so the next step after letting them completely dry out and everything is to uh, soak them in, um, in filtered water or, or uh, RO water for a couple weeks. Let everything seep out of them and that way you're not sitting them in tap water. And you're getting all like the chemicals out of them and everything else uh, and then they'll be cured. And that's how you cure live rock from a live fish tank. You let it, you pull them out. Uh, usually people let them sit it out. I wanted to rinse mine out, get all this stuff out prior to uh, soaking them. And you sit them out in the sun or anywhere where it's very airy and outside because they smell. It smells. These right here are past the smelly stage. They don't smell anymore. Everything's dying, died on them. You can see how it's all white. Um, ones are completely dry. Soak them in the RO water uh, for a couple weeks. It lets all the stuff seep out of them since they're very porous. It'll be stuff inside of the rock that are dead and that'll start to seep out and if you don't do that and you set them right in your tank uh, all that dead stuff will start decomposing in your tank and you'll run into a lot of problems so this step is very crucial to curing uh, live rock uh, but this is dead but you're going to make it live again by curing it and it'll be ready to go into the tank so I'll show you guys um, how to cure them in a little bit. After I'm done rinsing out all the other ones, I'll show you how to do the the last step in it. And then right here, here's my um, reverse osmosis setup. I got the four stage right here. And then it'll go into these two 55 gallon um, containers. So I'll have about 110 gallons total, which is perfect for setting up the reef tank. And I got these at Home Depot for like $25 a, a piece versus paying $90 for a 50 gallon trash can. Way cheaper and they're way better quality plastic than those. 
Uh, here's the protein skimmer I just got done rinsing out and cleaning. It's a CPR Backpack 2. Awesome protein skimmer. Hang on, also hang on the back one. Totally recommend it. I'll put a link in the description for this. Um, it has the two 266 gallon per hour pumps, which you can upgrade. You just have to find um, ones that fit on this fitting right here, get an adapter, and you're set. I uh, just got done cleaning it today. Uh, letting it dry out and ready for the new tank. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the 300 watt LED lights I have. So 65 watt LEDs, that's what they are. And then you just control the separate channels on each side. The sides uh, white and then blue, about $100, $120 on Amazon. They work awesome, super bright. I'll put a link in the description of all the stuff I got in case you guys wanted to. Show you what it is when you open it. Nice light. You got two power cords and you got the light here all packaged up nice. All right, and then here's my 120 pounds of uh, rock. Yep. And this is uh, what you get. Kind of like rocks of all sort, very porous, awesome for reefs. Do recommend uh, rinsing them off with RO water, reverse osmosis water, like filtered water, not tap water, or else you'll um, end up getting uh, brown algae in your tank like I did in mine. That was one mistake I made when I did my 55 gallon, is I used tap water to rinse out the rocks. Careful, open them up, because um, you can see in here, there's lots of sand and rocks <laughs> in these boxes. So if you don't want sand all over your house, I'd recommend opening outside. Here's all the power heads I have. This one I have in uh, that tank up in that corner. It's uh, 800 gallons per hour. Simple wave maker, little suction cup on the side of the glass. And then I got two 1,320 gallons per hour um, wave makers. Same company, it just came in a set. Here it is here, a little bit bigger, a little bit more directed flow. Um, suction cup two on the side of the glass. A 225 uh, gallon per hour one. Uh, well, my friends had it and I took it off his hands. And then I have uh, that one right in the corner from Petco, a 250 gallon per hour one. And then I also have the two on the back of the protein skimmer, which are 266 gallons per hour. So I did the math, there's that. Well, um, those are all those together. Find out the turnover rate in the tank. Uh, 5,247. Divide that by 125. Get about 42, 42 times. The very minimum, pretty much. I got another 300 watt uh, aqua top glass heater. I'm gonna use this one and the one in that tank. And that's also the same one, 300 watts. You can use both of them in the 125. Cheaper than buying a huge one. Very nice, good quality. Here's the heater. It'll twist knob at the top. It'll adjust how hot. And then I got my uh, four Moonlight LEDs. Fully waterproof so they could go be submerged inside the tank. They're used for a lot of uh, different things. Nice little glass case for it, little suction cups. Go ahead and turn them on for you guys. Lights up everything, even in the daytime. Super nice LEDs, super bright. Yep, got four of those go across the tank. Black background, just like I'd have on this tank right here. Two T5 high output uh, fixtures. They're 48 inch, 54 watt. Uh, this one's a wave point and this one's a coral life. Reason for that, I had two of the wave points from Amazon, but one of them broke in half in shipping. I just sent it back, get a refund, and I just went down to the fish store and got a light bulb. Boom. Super bright, super awesome. One of the 40 pounds of uh, sand right here. It's a Carib Sea Ocean Direct Caribbean Life sand. I decided to go with the uh, tan. I just think it'd look way better and look way more, way bigger since the black makes it look kind of small. Here's everything in the tank that I have to get it started. I'll put a link in the description um, for everything in here, everything I have for it, in case uh, you guys uh, want to buy it too. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Check back soon for more updates on the tank. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, share the video, subscribe for more awesomeness, and see you guys later. Have a good day. We'll uh, turn them on.